Welcome back to Dragon Guard Gaming. Today I'm doing a video on why power leveling may be a bad idea and lots of other stuff. Starting with how's power level and first of all what is power leveling? Uh, as a lot of you may not know how what that is. And like a few of you will probably be like, Ray, what are you talking about? So there are no disadvantages of power leveling. Well, there is more than you think, and some that you probably won't notice. So, I'm just going to get smack bang in today's video. Firstly, what is power leveling? Power leveling is when a usually higher level is um, helping a low level level up faster so this is basically they will fight the mob to 50% and then the higher level will finish it which in some cases for low levels would literally be they one shot it and then they get all the experience because technically they are winning lock over the over it that's how it works it works with the locking system uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how that is done right now. What I will be doing is showing how he gets power leveled by Carrigan. Um, yeah. So as shown, I will start fighting it probably speed this up. Now as you can see it's on half heart so my rogue will finish it. Damn it. Okay now what has happened there is because I'm in a group which is probably helpful I show you this because I'm in a group it split the experience so what you need to do is not be in a group now for now I've shown you how to do it I'm gonna go into the disadvantages and the more advantages I I think I'm going to jump straight into the why it's good. Okay, so first thing that I find, well, which is quite obvious, it is faster leveling. It, especially like if you want to quickly level up your clan or your servers low on players that are of a certain level, you want to be able to do that. Um, but also, a rather important thing, is that it allows you to meet new players because like, you, it gives you like, a way for high levels to interact with low levels which can basically, you can basically teach them how to play. That I find that high level and low level interactions does genuinely help, plus it if you're in a clan, it does boost your clan reputation. People want to join clans because it helps them. If somebody from that clan has already helped them, they're going to want to join that clan more. Um, so yeah. I got to go and do some ring bosses. And lay. It's a lot cheaper to level. That's what I find. It's a lot cheaper to level up because you're, of course, you're killing more by the time when you're using an elixir. And of course, if somebody's tanking everything for you, you don't have to use restoration potions or food, which cost quite a bit. Safe to say, I can't pull ring bosses. Anyways, 
So yeah, it's cheap, much cheaper to level if you've got somebody that's basically speeding up the process. But yeah. I feel like a lot of the disadvantages don't really come under it when you're just power leveling a alt account. I have never been good at pulling ring bosses. Now, I'm going to get into the disadvantage. Now, there might be some controversy with this, but... After all, this is all mostly my opinion and just with some facts. Okay, so... Firstly, what I want to discuss with you all is... If you're leveling up a low level, do you often get those low levels that are often like power level me, power level me? Well, if they didn't know what power leveling was, because somebody had been power leveling them, they wouldn't have been doing that as much, unless of course they played other games with it. But, so it can make people reliant on you. I believe that it all depends on how you get led into the game. It's like, if you're not used to the heavy grind that it takes to level up or doing the quests, um, like it's a big shock when there's nobody there to help you power level. So you're either waiting on somebody well, eventually people don't want to just do it. You get to a level where they don't want to power level you. But yeah, either way, people are, your players will get reliant on the one that is power leveling them. And this is also applies to like bosses and stuff like that. They'll think they don't have to put in work for stuff, but throughout the game you've got to put in a lot of work. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I need to say on that point. Secondly, is if you're getting power leveled, you don't. So it's easier. You, you're not. You're but you're not noticing flaws in your own gameplay you're pretty much pressing a few buttons and then it gets finished for you and like if the player can save you if you get into a rut so notice in when your improvements like you won't know if your energy is low until you don't have somebody helping you and you won't notice if your health isn't up to scratch if you have somebody tanking you, all the things around the room for you. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all. You just won't know how to sort out your stats unless you're sticking to a specific stat thing. But yet again, you'll need to know when you need gear upgrades and stuff like that. And this one's quite similar to what I just said, but you won't have the experience in situations. Say, like, we've all been levelling and then all of a sudden everything spirals out of control. Well, I, I, what I've noticed when making my newer characters is that all the spiralling out of control happened a lot less. Like, I was learning, like, boundaries of where thing, things are so I don't aggro everything out and I was just also learning how all the classes work and of course me knowing that which is quite 
I leveled Ray on her own pretty much for quite a lot. I did have quite a lot of help as well, but I didn't really have it constantly. So, yeah, I, I knew how to sort out when everything is aggroed. I knew how to get away from those situations. And it's also knowing whether to run or whether to carry on with it. And how to level up while cursed and stuff like that. So, yeah. A lot of there's a lot of situations you can get into. You're probably thinking, well, once you're leveled, you don't really need to worry about this. But you do. All these things that are happening while you're leveling are showing you what bosses be like. In fact, some normal mobs even have a few skills that bosses have that you can learn. like how to deal with skills when you are have a skill that is taking damage over time how to counteract that that's everything a tank needs to know or how to kill things quickly and know which ones to go for when you're being outnumbered that's exactly what happens with ads and like at Necro today when at Necromancer when all the spirits came over the bridge BPS was getting outnumbered sure but I find that they have learned that through leveling through putting in the efforts when they were were and they became a lot stronger for it and they didn't literally like get to level 220 and get thrown telling like having to learn all these new skills they already knew them so yeah and yeah you're learning what for yourself which is a good thing to do as well which will help you show, learn strategies that you will need to learn, or new strategies, or whenever this new boss comes out. Oh. Okay, so there's only one other thing that I, I haven't personally noticed it too much, but it just makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna go sh straight into it. Firstly, abilities. Let me just get on to my abilities. Don't need that one. Okay, so if you're attacking and doing less hits, this means like you're getting less of a chance of any of your abilities going up. So if I'm hitting this with my sword, my abilities aren't going to go up. So I'm boosting my own, like my own level by taking away from what my abilities are going to for example let's say I still use my sword sword a lot which I do but you know what I mean if I was still leveling my sword if like somebody was taking 50% of the hits that I would be hitting there would be a lot less chance of my battle abilities like my melee ability wouldn't be going up as much or anything really the only thing that I think wouldn't be affected would be my treasure hunter and scholar ability the rest would be greatly affected by this so let's say for example you're not getting power leveled but somebody's tanking everything for you um, when you're getting hit, that means skills like your willpower, your fortitude, your warding, and other stuff aren't going up if you're not getting hit by anything. So if you're planning on being a tank in the future, yeah, that's not going to be very helpful for you. 
Um, yeah, mine are quite low because I did not get these skills in the beginning of the game, which I should have done, but I was young when I started playing, so um, I, th I kind of assumed I had them on my main, but then I realised I sort out, sorted out every single other character with them but my main, so yeah, I had to do that quite late, and I'm, I'm paying the price now for how low my abilities are, but I'm working on it, so yeah. Your abilities will take a toll, but your level will be going up. So, either way, are you really saving yourself work? I'd say not really. You're just giving yourself more things to do in the future, like I have now. So, I hope this video was informative and helpful. Uh, drop in the comments below what you think of this and whether you think that maybe the disadvantages outweigh the advantages or if the or if the disadvantages don't really matter and the you just want all the advantages um, yeah comment below what you think and I look forward to seeing your um, opinions about this bye